Hello friends on YouTube, this is a video just about me because uh, I cannot wait uh, all the time and do no hair. <laughs> so I want to show you that it's still well and uh, healthy and uh, didn't have anything to do with uh, Corona. In Corona time also my hair grows of course and I, my son wants to do this but he is always gaming, gaming, gaming uh, since uh, seven weeks so let's do it myself. i show you some uh, tools I use in this video and show you the difference of the tools. So in the meantime we can talk about anything but I'm certain that in Corona time uh, and after Corona time we, we can't work and we have to come near to you because we cannot keep it on distance and I think that my protection and with my uh, chair I developed I can do without my protection if I want to but there are a lot of ways to do hair without getting near to the customer with your breathing. So I think that's the most important thing. And when you wash your hands in front of it and afterwards, there's no problem with spreading the coronavirus. Now, what I told you, I'm going to work on myself. So first, uh, like I normally do, you see I'm bald and I have a lot of sunlight because I'm living outside now. Working like a construction builder, my hands are even looking like construction builder. But now I turn so you can see how my hair is now, and I give you some tips also, especially when you have to do this uh, for a person at home. So, of course, I start uh, putting on protection for myself because I don't want all the hairs in my clothes. So, that's that. Now, and the first thing I want to learn you is, especially for the people at home, and this I do with a large clipper. I put my blade totally to the front, so I have the sharpest uh, lines. And now I do a thing like uh, you, because I show you things, because I, I'm going bald, that's not a problem, but I show you the difference in doing things the right way or do it wrong. Now, if you do somebody's hair, you take three fingers, hold them together, and you lay them in the back, where your neck is going in the overflow to your skull lines. Hold these fingers down and you can take all the hairs laying beneath it. You can take away. So the line is never too short. I think that's the most important thing because now the line is a beautiful line. But when you would go in two fingers, you get a more stupid line. But then, the roundings of your skull are not that beautiful anymore. And the difference between the sides, this part and that part, becomes two, two, two totally different. Because mostly this length is the same length as that you do on the back. With three fingers you have that length, with two fingers you have not. There's also people who want to get into one finger. It's also possible, of course. Just take all your hairs and then you can see how stupid that looks. So the line is now too high up, but there is always a way out. Just put the blade to the uh, largest position to the back and then hold your clipper like this and just fade the line. Go over it, just comb it out. This is the same as uh, barbers should do. They mostly go into a line. So they set out a bulb line. You can take uh, some kind of guide. I do it without guide now. So when you take off, for example, this line, From the underlines, you go even shorter. So here is a little bit more hair than in the underlines. The same on the other side. And then to fade the line, put my blade back, go over the same line in the opposite lines. 
and just comb it out. And the more you hold your clipper flat on your head, there's the less hair that stays on your head. So now I have a faded line. The same on the other side. I have to watch in the mirror because otherwise I don't see what I'm doing. Just fade it out, comb the hairs up. Watch the boat lines are the same. So now I have nice faded lines on the sides. I don't like this because my grandpa also had this kind of hairstyles and it's a bit barber hairstyles. But I really don't like them a lot because I can do it because I'm a professional hairdresser also on men hairstyles. And I have a wonderful um, Facebook page with uh, men's hairstyle and hairstyle videos. You have to watch that because there are a lot of members on that uh, place. Now, what I want is to take all off. Now, that's not the hardest thing to do because then you put your blade totally... I'll show you first the three, uh, two millimeters when you leave uh, the blade to the back. Just hold it and just gently go over the roundings. And if somebody does it for you, just follow the lines. Watch how the hairs lay. When the hairs lay this way, you go in that way because then you have the best result. Now I know I want everything off so I don't have to watch at the back because it will be all right. Especially when the whole hair is off. Clean it up. This is about two millimeters of hair. So it is when the blades of the clipper are laying to the back. So they lay to your hand. Now I put them up. So this is the sharpest position of this wonderful Kiona clipper. So now I go over the same line. You can hear it's still hair coming up. And I go over the same lines. And this is almost bald because this is uh, 0 0.5 millimeters. So it's not much. You see the hairs are getting lighter when you come near to the skin. But I really love it. And for those who have too much eyebrows, be as certain that your blade is laying to the back and just go over them. Just use them as a comb so the thickness of your eyebrows will be much softer. Especially when you do a hairstyle and you want to get into the short lines, make sure the eyebrows are not too much because then they stick out like the old grandpa. I can feel also with my hands where the hair is still on. So now uh, I'm almost bald up a bit. So now I turn so you can see that I'm almost bald now. And this is uh, 0.5 millimeters on a Kiona clipper. But 
I want everything of what I told you. So now I go for the small clipper. And what I do instead of holding the clipper like this, because most people do this like this, I hold it the other way around. It gives a much sharper effect and takes away a lot more of the hairs. And again, it is much easier if somebody does it for you. And when you do it yourself, it's much harder to do because you have to get all the hairs. And that's when you watch in the mirror, it's much harder to do. Take the ears down, so you have a much stronger uh, skin contact and the hair st stands up a bit. You also can see that I need some sun now. But tomorrow the sun is shining in the Netherlands, so it's not a problem. Now this is almost bald, so I show you that also by turning around. So this looks like this. What you also can do with a small uh, clipper is of course the contour. Hold your three fingers. And make sure all the hairs are off. With older guys like me, you can also put the nose aside and take that hair away and that hair away. And you always watch in the ears so no hair is sticking out. But there's also a tool, there's also a tool of Kiona that goes even deeper like this. So there's this kind of tool. This cool tool I love the most because in the morning when I have to go to my work normally, I go fast and then I forget some spots with shaving. Now this is the bold version. So I can shave myself also with it. You can hear it goes really bold. Make sure the skin it's nice, straight, pull it down. They are very easy to clean, that's also very important, so you can clean it between every customer. And you can disinfect the blades. Uh, this really feels good because now <laughs> I can feel I'm bold. And now I also can feel like my fingers where I still have stains on the hairs. I go over my skull, 
feel where I can feel the hairs, they're still on my stove, so to open that one more time. Now that feels really nice. With my small clipper I also do the underlines of the eyebrows and mostly take away the hairs between it. So now the only thing I can do now, because this is bold, it feels also bold. I can make a nice oil on this, but I also can go even a bit further than this. I can shave myself, so I think I'm going to do that with the knife. And with a protected knife, because when you shave yourself all over with a blade, I don't like that because I cannot see it really well. So I take a protected knife and then do it with that. Okay, take some water. Put it on my head. I love to work with uh, shaving with conditioners because it doesn't irritate the skin and especially uh, when you go intimate for shaving, they are, the hairs don't grow in. I think that's also very important. Take my blade. And now you see there are really still hairs coming off. But also it's getting really, really smooth. So this is ultra, ultra smooth. And also this you can feel in the between clean the blades. And even on a bald head, there's still hairs on top. So don't think, oh, there grows nothing. You will be stunned what's still growing there. You don't want it to grow there, but it still is there. So. And when the skin is drying, wet it a bit, because that's the best way to shave. So you take a little bit of water, put it over the conditioner you used. And also the back, you do on touch. So you just go over it with your fingers, you can still feel some hairs. It's just like sandpaper. You can feel where the hairs are. And always be sure you go up in a straight line. When you go sideways, you can hurt yourself.
So now I'm totally bald. So take out my cape and just with a knife holding my skin rip tight. Clean up the contour. Same with the other sides. What you can see, you take with. What you can see, you can always take off. And for so far, uh, my shaving part. Now I need a towel with a little bit warm water. And then with the towel, I take off the conditioner of my head. Get rid of all the small hairs. And what I really love is the oil. So I'm gonna use the man oil. Take a little bit of shaving oil because it nurses the hair. It gives also that wonderful feeling of being fresh. It naturally sizes uh, also the colors a bit. So and this was my bold hairstyle video for you. I hope you stay well. I hope, I hope we come out of the lockdown very fast. So then we can make normal videos again. I will turn for you so you can see the end result. I don't make photos of myself because it's too hard to do. I thank you for watching and stay safe all over the world. Until next time. Bye bye. And of course for those who cannot uh, get used to uh, the idea of being bald, you also can wear a wig if you like to so turn. So you have still a hairstyle to watch it. Thank you for watching. I really love wigs because uh, you can feel so totally different with a wig on. So for especially for girls who love to go bald, be aware that you have to have a wig somewhere because there will be times you don't feel that confidence with uh, being bald so you have to get the trust and the feeling because it takes a lot of girl to be bald and for men I really love bald but uh, the nice thing is now I can show you the difference between bald and having a wig but this feels totally free thank you for watching bye bye